right behind this handle here, there's a little secret door. Then you want to take a small screwdriver and just pop that open. You'll see there's a Phillips screw right there. There's also Phillips screws, one in here, one behind this handle right here, a couple on the bottom of the door panel. You want to take all those out. Now, before I take those screws out, I'm going to take this handle off and I'm going to use this tool. It has these little ears right here that push on a clip that's in back of here. And typically you want to put the tool in behind this handle this way because the clip is usually like that. But I happen to know that the clip is, was put on backwards. So I'm going to go in like this and just push down. And pop it off and you can see that's the clip that it's pushing so before I reinstall this I'll switch that clip to, to go on the other side now you can take out all those screws make sure you remember where they go because they are different these are the ones on the bottom of the panel Now you want to grab the panel and lift up and you can pull it away a little bit. Now you have the handle and lock mechanism and you're going to have to take these plastic clips and snap them off of this, these rods. You're going to take some needle nose pliers and just try and snap those off very carefully like that. And that'll move that way and you can pull up and then do the same thing with the other one. And once those are removed, you can put your panel off to the side. Now you have three 10 millimeter nuts holding the mirror on. So I'm gonna take two of these out completely and I'm going to leave that top one loose so that it holds the mirror there and it doesn't fall to the ground. That's one. That's two. And then when I take this third one off, I'm going to reach over and hold the mirror so it doesn't fall. There we go. There's the mirror. Now you can take your new mirror and line up those bolts. Have a nut ready to go and get it started. Now with that nut in there, you can install the other two. Now I'm gonna tighten these down evenly. Now we can put the door panel back on. Remember these rods, how they work. Drop them in like this. I'm gonna drop both of these in before I clip them into place. Like that. And then snap it in like that. Make sure they're down all the way. And if you need some help, you can use those needle nose pliers. Snap it into place. And now if you look back here, you have a bunch of hooks that go into holes like this in the door panel. So you want to line all those up first. Make sure the door panel drops in like that and then push it right down into place. I'll reinstall the screws on the bottom. And then the two 
behind these handles right here and one up here might have to hold that handle open get that one in and close that door and then one more screw up here by the mirror now I'm going to reinstall the window crank handle and you'll notice I've flipped that clip so next time I'll know that I can put the tool in this way. Make sure I have this little washer on there and then I want to push it on place and feel around and make sure it's in those grooves, which it is. Just give it a little tap. It's locked into place.